This problem, problem 16, is a big hint uh, to do 17. Both of them are three-star problems. So, um, not challenging to do, but challenging to think about what to do, which is most of the time the case for three-dot problems. Um, less of the time, less of the time, our three problems just crazy hard to mathematically hard to solve. So 16. I'm just going to draw a picture of the situation. So there's a boat. And we'll just draw a like steak or a what do they call it in the problem? Uh, a pier post. Here's a pier post. And Carmelita is we'll draw on this end. And her center of mass we'll say is like here. Ricardo is on this end, he's bigger. His center of mass, we'll say, is here. The center of mass of the boat is halfway between them. We'll say it's there. <coughs> so he's 80 kilograms. She is unknown. The boat is 30 kilograms. And the distance apart for these guys is 3 meters. And we'll just say that they're a distance x from the pier post. Don't actually really need this. We can do the problem multiple ways. One would be to assume the pier post is right here. But um, that sort of makes things cancel out immediately and I kind of want to show you this method so you can see the canceling out happen later so using the x com equation is more evident what, what's going on. Anyway, now later on they switch positions so first off you should be able to see that the center of mass of all three of these well okay let's say that Carm Carmelita is, e is 80 also 80, 80. So you should be able to see there that the center of mass would be right here in the middle of the boat, right? But since Ricardo is more massive, the center of mass is going to be like over here somewhere. Think, right? So when they switch, the uh, the center of mass has to be on this side of the boat. The thing is. And this is key to the problem. The, cent the position of the center of mass relative to the pier can't change. And why that is is because of essentially the conservation of momentum. There's zero momentum. Like everything's at rest, right? Rest, rest, rest. There's zero momentum to begin with. So that means there has to be zero momentum to end with. And what that means is that's the momentum of the center of mass of s the system. So if the center mass is not moving before, then no matter what's going on, as long as no other momentum enters the system from outside, they can shift around as much as they want. The, cent the momentum of the center mass after is also zero, so that means the center mass is not going to move. So center mass is going to stay there. The, peers the peer post is not going to move. But if if uh, Ricardo was on this side of the boat, then then the center of mass of the system has to be closer to Ricardo than it is Car uh, Carmelita. So the center of mass of the boat has to be on this side of the boat's center, right? Which means the boat's center now in this position is going to be over here, right? So the boat shifts that way compensate for more of the mass from Ricardo going that way. And that keeps everything equal. And you'll see that in equation form soon. So let me try to draw the boat here. So the boat shifts over a bit. That's sort of okay-ish, I guess. Uh, let me draw Ricardo over here. And he's 80, but I'm not going to redraw that. Carmelita's over here. She's smaller. Now, this is still 3, right? 
between them. But what's this distance? The boats it said the boat shifted forty centimeters horizontally. So this distance now is x plus zero point four meters forty centimeters or zero point four that way. So the boat shifts that way. So everything shifts that way point four meters. So that's the situation. Now as I was saying before the initial momentum must equal the final momentum of the system, right? Because no new moment, no new momentum has entered the situation, the system. So if the initial momentum is zero, the final momentum is zero. What that means is the initial position of the center of mass has to equal the final position of the center of mass. And you can see that here. That hasn't moved at all. Here's the center of mass of the system. Closer to Ricardo because Ricardo has more mass. Right? So let's write this equation out. It's pretty long. So we get three objects. So each each of them, three objects, doo -doo 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 -doo. each of them is going to have its own mx term. And there'll be three masses on the bottom. Doo -doo -doo. But something cool is going to happen on the bottom, you'll see. So x com initial. Let's start with Ricardo. So we got mass of 80 for Ricardo, and his position is, as you can see, uh, we're going to say that this is zero here, so his position is x plus 3 away. Alright, good, so that's Ricardo. Now let's do uh, Carmelita next, plus her mass is m, unknown, that's what we're trying to find. And her position is just x away. And finally, the boat has a mass of 30. And its position is x plus, well, this is halfway between the two. So this is half of 3 is 1 and a half. So x plus 1.5. Cool. So then. Uh, what about the x com after? Oh, well, I forgot something. Sorry, 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 sorry. Z over 80, over the sum of the masses, 80 plus 30 plus m. <coughs> and that's the same over here, actually. So let's just do that. And you should see right off what happens to those, right? Regardless of what goes up here. This whole term cancels. Ah, oh, that's nice. All right, so how far are the, how far are they all the way now? Ricardo is here now, and so his mass is 80 again. And how far away is he? Well, he is now x plus 0.4 away from the pier post. Carmelita is uh, x plus point four plus three away. And the boat with a mass of thirty is x plus point oh four plus one and a half away. Oof. Okay, now let's just distribute this out. So this is 80x plus 240 plus mx plus 30x plus 40, 30 times over 45 equals 80x. Plus 30, 80 times 0.4 is 32. Plus mx plus 0.4x plus 3m. Oh, this should be m here. Sorry. Plus 
plus 30x, 30 times 0.4 is 45, no sorry, is 12, 30 times 1.5 is 45. Yeah, so lots of things are going to cancel now, so the 80x is cancel, the uh, mx is cancel, 45 is cancel, 30x cancels, and that's it. So 240 is left over on this side equals 32 plus 3.4m. I'm just going to combine those right now. 3.4m plus 12. Anyway, you can do the algebra here. m is going to equal 57. Uh, point six kilograms. As predicted and as stated in the problem, Carmelita's mass is less than Ricardo's. So this this uh, should help you solve problem 17. Basically, very s similar strategies. The the dog in this case now there's only a dog on, and a boat, not two people. So it's a little simpler in that sense. The dog moves towards the shore, which is sort of like the pier post here. So that means the boat's going to go back that way. And yeah, so um, good luck. Goodbye. Good.